in this problem we have to calculate the expression for sleeper density if ray length is given and number of sleepers is given okay so how to calculate sleeper density is sleeper density equal to n plus x and uh, sleeper density is given as 22 n is given as 19 x we have to calculate so by subtracting we will get value as 3 therefore expression for sleeper density as n plus 3 okay now we will go to next problem a meter gauge track is laid with rails whose length is given we have to calculate number of sleepers for rail length with sleeper density given as n plus 5 so how to calculate number of sleepers first start with length of each rail on meter gauge so how many types of tracks are there on indian railways are first is meter gauge second is broad gauge next is narrow gauge so for meter gauge track n value is 13 meters always you have to take 13 meters therefore number of sleepers can be calculated by the formula which is given in the question as n plus 5 so 13 plus 5 equal to number of slippers as 18 therefore number of slippers are 18 next problem a broad gauge is given with sleeper density as n plus 6 next if the track is laid with the number of rails which are welded now what we have to calculate we have to work out the number of sleepers on broad gauge so how to calculate first we have to check the length of rail for broad gauge which is 12 meters 12.8 meters for Indian railways so uh, we will take it as 13 meters approximately equal to 13 meters why because uh, in the end of your solution it may be possible that you will get the values 14.7 14.8 or 14.9 so we have to round it to the nearest highest well that's why we are taking as 13 meters and if the problem is given for broad, uh, meter gauge instead of broad gauge you have just to take 13 meters okay so next proceed to the problem total length of the track can be uh, is given as 26 meters now total number of rails equal to n by length of track which is broad gauge 26 is the length of track therefore number of rails is 2 now sleeper density is n plus 6 which is given the question is uh, n plus 6 we have to substitute here we are getting 19 sleepers therefore total number of sleepers equal to 2 into 19 38 sleepers we will get okay next next problem calculate the weight of actual expansion gap in this problem what is difference between the other problems up to earlier problems or previous problems we have calculated or seen the problems regarding gradient calculation and sleeper or sleeper density calculations now in 
tracks there is expansion and contraction as uh, the property of wood because in winter and summer there is the possibility of contraction and expansion okay so we will solve the problem on this uh, ex uh, actual expansion gap to be provided for the rail of given length and what is given with this temperature and time okay so coming towards problem solution of the given problem expansion gap can be calculated by the formula e equal to l capital l alpha t into 10 q where e equal to expansion gap in mm l length of the rail alpha equal to coefficient of expansion of steel t equal to change in temperature all these values are given in the question now just substituting the equation as alpha l equal to 12.8 meters alpha equal to 1.2 into 10 power minus 5 degree, 5 degree centigrade t equal to 70 minus 40 this is the actual temperature minus uh, temperature with time we will get 30 degree centigrade as per this solution problem so we are substituting all these values in the formula e equal to l alpha t into 10 q we will get 4.61 mm which is approximately equal to 5 mm therefore actual expansion is e plus 1 which is 5 plus 1 equal to 6 mm.